We want answers. And um, I'm sick of this. We are getting answers tonight about the living condition of a five-year-old boy who police say fell from a window in a downtown Kansas City apartment and died. Grayson O'Connor's body was discovered in November in an alley behind his apartment complex near 10th and Grand. KBC 9's Jackson Kurtz is live there now with what new court documents reveal. Jackson. Yeah, well, these new court documents give us insight into what life was like for Grayson O'Connor and his mother, who we're not naming tonight because she's not yet been charged in this case. But they helped paint a picture of what these conditions were like, described as unlivable. Court documents say the apartment where Grayson O'Connor and his mother stayed were uninhabitable due to very poor sanitary conditions. The social workers said it was horrible and, and they had no food and it was dirty. You know, from, from the waist down, there was markings and dirt on the wall. Documents claim the managers of the downtown apartment have filed paperwork to evict Grayson's mother. There's no way she could show her face around here. Kelsey Gribb, a neighbor, would watch Grayson at times. It's the first thing I think of it in the morning and uh, it's the last thing I think of before bed. She tried to sound the alarm to authorities about his living conditions. They should have evicted her the day it happened because they already knew what was going on. The documents went on to say that Grayson's mother carelessly removed window stops in their apartment. We spoke with a former maintenance technician of the building last month. You cannot be taking these out or forcing them open. You got a little kid here and you're on the 17th floor. You can't do that because it's endangering the, the, the welfare of the child. For Grib, the pain of losing Grayson is still too real. I wish I was just, he could have lived with me or something. There's a lot of guilt. Yeah, we want answers. And um, I'm sick of this. We reached out to the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office for any word of any charges. They told us that any documents have yet been unsealed. Not sure when that will be. Chris Lara. Jackson, thanks. Our reporters have been on this story since it happened. You can find our previous reporting on this story right now at KNBC.com.